Welcome to the demo for Prime Infrastructure Cisco DNA Center Coexistence Tool. This is a follow-up of the main demo. In this follow-up demo, I want to explain why we call it a coexistence tool as opposed to an integration. And with that, let's move on to the demo. This is the second part of the demo. We already ran the coexistence tool and we have our devices in the corresponding floors. We see that we have router one, wireless LAN controller and the access point in floor one. And we also have a second router called router two in floor number two and floor number three is empty. So what I'm going to show is what happens if after running the coexistence tool, we decide to make changes to this part of the infrastructure in DNA Center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move both routers, router one and router two, to floor number three. So I'm changing the hierarchy for this particular building, which is called building one. Let's go to floor number two, select the option of assign device to site, and in this case, same, we are going to put it in floor number three. So in a nutshell, if we go back in floor number one, we have the wireless LAN controller and the access point, and in floor number three, we have both routers. So again, these changes were made in DNA Center. Now let's see what happens when we look into Prime Infrastructure. Let's go to the inventory within Prime and same thing as before, we are going to go into the network hierarchy, looking for the Asia Pacific site, the Singapore building, the Singapore site and floor number one, two and three. So what happens is that changes that were made in DNA Center are not reflected in Prime Infrastructure. So from a Prime Infrastructure perspective, both Wireless LAN Controller and Router 1 are still in floor number 1, while Router 2 is in floor number 2 and floor number 3 is empty. Which means that now I have inconsistencies. Now, if we decide that the system making changes in that portion of the hierarchy, the Asia Pacific is going to be DNA center, then that's not a problem. We don't expect to make changes in prime infrastructure. We are not leveraging prime infrastructure for changes. Um, so that's okay. But if we are continue using prime infrastructure and we, we assume that the network hierarchy in prime infrastructure is the source of truth, then we need to be a little bit worried about the inconsistencies. And let's see an example of why. Let's see what happens if we decide to go in and run the coexistence tool again. Maybe it's us and we forgot, or maybe it's someone else that decides to run the coexistence tool. We're going to go exactly through the same workflow. And when we select the groups, again, we are going to select the same network hierarchy as before, including the Asia Pacific and Singapore sites, building number one and the three floors. We do get some visualization in this uh, summary page. We can see that no groups are going to be added, which is part of the network hierarchy, but everything is going to be updated. And same thing from a device perspective, we are not going to add any devices, but we are going to update the information on the devices. And as we are going to see, Prime Infrastructure is going to push its own site um, availability for the devices, and it's not going to consider what's already there in DNA Center. This is just going through the migration workflow or the coexistence workflow. And let's see what happens when this is finished. Now let's go into DNA Center and refresh the view. And not surprisingly, we're going to see that floor number three is empty because it's going to match what we had in prime infrastructure and floor number one is going to have 
router one and the wireless LAN controller, while uh, router two is going to be part of floor number two. What this demo is trying to show is that only one system, prime or DNA center, should be making changes in the network. And in this slide, we're showing one of the migration scenarios, which is one of the most common um, for our customers, which is having assurance in DNA center and configuration in prime. In that case, the the devices and the hierarchy is read only from a DNA center perspective. The updates are being done via prime infrastructure, but we still get the benefits of visualization and assurance, proactive troubleshooting and sensors, all the very sophisticated capabilities that we have in DNA center. And with that, this concludes our demo.